Hello Grace Church Guildford and other friends listening in. It's David here. It's time for the Daily Psalm. That's a psalm a day to encourage us during this challenging season of lockdown. And the psalm for today, Thursday the 30th of, of April, is Psalm 150. Psalm 150. That's the very last psalm in the book of Psalms. Let's read it together, shall we? Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flute. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now the Victorian preacher C.H. Spurgeon in his commentary series called The Treasury of David uh, says this about the last few words of the psalm. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. He says, let all breath praise him. That is to say, all living beings. He gave them breath, let them breathe his praise. Join all you living things in the eternal song. Be you least or greatest, withhold not your praises. What a day it will be when all things in all places unite to glorify the one, only, living and true God. This will be the final triumph of the church of God. Praise the Lord. Once more, hallelujah. Thus is the psalm rounded with a note of praise. And thus is the book of Psalms ended by a glowing word of adoration. Reader, will not you at this moment pause a while and worship the Lord your God? Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that the great call at the end of the book of Psalms uh, is to worship and praise you. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Father, we're called here to, to praise you uh, for your actions, for your mighty acts of power. We know these things are true in creation. Uh, your sustaining power in our lives every day is a gift from you. But also, Lord, as your people, we know these things are true in salvation. How we thank you for sending Jesus, your son, uh, who died on the cross and rose again and reigns victoriously. How we thank you that he broke the power of sin and death. And Lord, one day when he returns, there will be a restored, renewed creation, a new heavens and a new earth. And all of creation at that point will say, praise the Lord. Lord, help us today in the midst of uh, joyful moments and challenges and even sorrows uh, to learn the truth uh, that we can praise you and worship you. Hear us, we pray. We give you thanks in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen.